in a drastic escalation of the U.S. generation long wars in the Middle East. A U.S. strike on Thursday in Baghdad killed Qasem Soleimani, the leader of Iran's powerful Quds force and an architect of American agony in Iraq. The Pentagon confirmed late Thursday that it killed Soleimani at the direction of the president and claimed in a statement that General Soleimani was actively developing plans to attack American diplomats and service members in Iraq and throughout the region. It continued, this strike was aimed at deterring future Iranian attack plans. The United States will continue to take all necessary action to protect our people and our interests wherever they are around the world, reports from Iraq said Soleimani was killed in a strike that occurred near Baghdad International Airport. The airport, which houses U.S. and allied Iraqi forces, had also come under rocket fire from unknown militants on Thursday, killing Soleimani, a senior official of a nation with which the U.S is not officially at war, is highly likely to prompt reprisal attacks against Americans in Iraq and perhaps elsewhere. In addition to the 5,000 troops in Iraq, there are nearly 10,000 more deployed across the Middle East, including in Saudi Arabia, which is fighting a U.S.-backed proxy war with Iran in Yemen. The strike on Soleimani came days after supporters of an Iran-backed Iraqi militia, Kataib Hezbollah, besieged the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, itself the reprisal for U.S. 